Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Tandini's channel and today I got my hands on the new Wilson Shift 99 and 99L and these are the retail versions, not the prototype ones that came out earlier this year. This racket is marketed as a spin and power frame that is suitable for modern game and we talk about the standard range first and followed by the lighter version. For the standard Shift 99, the racket has a 300 gram unstrung 99 square inches head size, thick beam, and 67 stiffness rating. It's headlight uh, and it has a 16 by 20 string pattern. Actually, I have tried the prototype version of the shift before, and I don't think the retail version has a significant change from the prototype racket. The stiffness is a bit higher, and I think the sweet spot is just a bit bigger. So, overall, easier to play with. The key characteristic remains, which is the monstrous spin potential and easy power. I strung it with the Restring Zero, which is one of my favorite strings for top spin, and it has crazy snapback. I think it's really a good match for the shift, to be honest. Like normally, I don't like the feel of the Restring Zero that much because it has a bit dampened feel and don't have much of a crispiness. But on the shift, I think it really feels great because the racket is a bit stiff and it has a lot of feels and vibrations. So using this setup kind of soften and dampen it a bit and it turns out quite perfect for each other. If you are interested in the Restring Zero, you can get 10% off using this code or you can follow the link in the description. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more tennis content. Okay, from the baseline, what I like is my forehand. I can generate a lot of power. It's not like 100% free power, but when you work on it, when you swing out, you can get easy access to that power potential and blast the ball out with good pace. It may not be as easy to play with as the PL Arrow or something in that umbrella. It's a bit more demanding, but way easier than playing with the blade. The racket is very maneuverable thanks to its light weight and headlight balance. The swing weight is not high and I can accelerate the racket head speed and stay whippy. The stability is not great, but totally acceptable. You can add some weight at 3 and 9, but I think the racket is better to stay light and whippy, so don't add too much. My shot looks powerful and has a lot of top spin on it. I can get more depth most of the time. The launch angle is also high, so I really don't have to worry about sending balls to the net at all. I feel like it's almost impossible to do that. If you have a modern top spin ground strokes, you will love this racket. It has a very unique flex sensation at contact. It's like you don't have to open the racket face at all, but the string bed can pocket the ball and bite the ball hard before sending it out. And you get a really good control over the ball, especially on the angle and depth. The directional control is average, especially when dealing with deep and heavy ball as well as on a half volley. Most of the time, it ends up in the middle of the court. But on high ball, I can deal with it very easy with top swing. But on the backhand, I don't like it as much because it feels a bit weird hitting flat. And I don't feel like the power is being transferred out to the ball that much. On the serve, it's one of the strongest points of this racket. First serve is a bomb and you can get extra spin on the second serve. I love it. So overall, I like this racket. I can play really well with it. It's a beast, especially with this string setup. So who should be using this racket? Actually, I don't think it's designed for beginner. They would be better off using the Clash. So I think it suits players who have some fundamentals. So probably intermediate level and up who hit with top spin on both wings. Okay, for the Shift 99L, the spec is pretty much the same, but it's lighter. 285 gram and strong, more head heavy balance, 
I haven't seen the stiffness rating yet, but I would say it's stiffer than the standard 300 gram. This racket is strung with the Technifiber Tri-X. Overall, yeah, it's lighter and more maneuverable, of course, easier power, but I don't feel like it's more powerful than the standard shift at high racket head speed. On the other hand, I think I can hit heavier ball with the standard shift. Uh, this one feels a bit like a stretch when you want to get the same pace, like you have to force it. Also, it's less stable than the 300 gram version. On the spin, I don't think there is a huge difference in spin potential and the launch angle. It's still like very spin friendly and the launch angle is pretty high. Actually, this one is a bit lower, but I think that's the string effect, not the racket. To sum up, I like the Shift 99 more than the 99L, but both are spin monster. So if you are looking for something between power and control frames, and you hit mostly with top spin, Wilson Shift is one of the best options to look at. It may have smaller sweet spot than power tweeners, but it's much easier to play with than most of the 98 scrunches control frames. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.